The Giants will soon have a new general manager and a new head coach, which means a whole new way of looking at their football operations and definitely a whole new way of looking at the NFL draft. So it's a little early to know exactly what their plans are going to be, but let's face it, if anybody with a brain is hired in either of those two jobs, they will quickly see that the Giants' biggest issue remains offensive line. Yes, they need a pass rusher as well, but you can manufacture a pass rush. You cannot fake the blocking up front, and it's been the Giants' biggest failure over the last four years, and really a lot longer than that. So with them sitting on the number five and number seven pick, thanks to the Chicago Bears, I really think about two offensive linemen. I think they have to go with a tackle with that first pick. They may not get Alabama's Evan Neal, who many believe is the top tackle in the draft, but I would give them Akeem Ekwanu from North Carolina State, the 6'4", 320-pounder, is known for his pancake blocks. They kept track. Apparently, he had 154 of them during his college career, so he would go great on the right side, replacing Nate Solder and Matt Parrott. And I would go with another offensive lineman two picks later, and I'd look at Iowa center Tyler Linderbaum. Really, a little high for a center, but he's considered one of the best center prospects to come out in years. 6'3", 290 pounds, powerful, athletic. And if you start there with an improving Andrew Thomas on the left, Ekwanu on the right, Linderbaum in the middle, and then hopefully a healthy Shane Lemieux and Nick Gates at guard, well, you might have something there. Not an all-pro offensive line, but certainly a heck of a lot better than what they've had over the past few years. So if you're doing an early projection of the NFL draft, and you can take a look at my mock top 10 on SNY.TV, it should be all about the offensive line for the Giants.